All day we're talking about energy, how to get lower electricity bills with solar and batteries and all that. And I'm here in our studio rugged up because we couldn't afford our own energy bills and we couldn't get solar and battery. And why? Well, because we had to fight the strata monster. If you're ever in a strata situation, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The bureaucracy is mind boggling. So this story is more than about solar and batteries. This is about what's wrong with the system to actually get to solar. Presented by Your Energy Answers. This episode is proudly supported by SunGrow, leaders in batteries and inverters, and ICO, makers of the world's most efficient solar panels. So our business is like everybody else. We're running a lot of electricity guzzling machines and energy is one of our key expenditures. So some businesses are really looking at the energy bills and go, if this is keeps on going the way it is, it's not worth for me to have the business. We're looking at record insolvencies. Australian business insolvencies are at a record high. New data from ASIC shows almost 26,000 businesses have fallen into insolvency. It's because their profit is all sucked up by the energy increases. Let's put a stop to it, get solar and battery, and then have that dragon of higher costs away from our neck. So working out who can install the system, the hardware, how big the system is. Yes, you need to think about it and it's a bit of work, but I tell you the true cost was going past strata. And I'm talking mental and financial costs because in those three years, I worked out, I paid $24,000 on electricity bills. And then every year you get the bill and then they tell you, oh, it's gonna go up by another 20% to top it off. There I'm educating people out there to go to the renewables, get the quality, get the local installer, don't be ripped off. And I'm sitting here frozen like an ice statue and I can't move because my strata has got me on the leash. Now, anybody who's dealt with strata, I'm sure you're sharing my thinking, which is it kind of feels like a mafia run cartel. In New South Wales alone, 2.6 million people live in a strata setup. So they're all hostage to the rules, to the committee, to the constitution. And if they want to change something, good luck. You have no control of how your money is spent by people whose interest it is to spend as much as possible and potentially get some kickbacks from the people who actually do the work for them. And so if you're in a business and you're in a strata complex and you want solar and batteries and EV charger, you just know how hard it is to go through that whole electrification process. It cannot be that one bloke doesn't want you to have an EV charger near your garage and he can stop the whole process and kill the goose. So now let's take you on the journey of what it took us. First, you just write a letter and say, dear Strata, would love to have solar and battery. Should be straightforward. What do we have to do? We got a letter back saying, well, I'm sorry, but because you put it in common area, that could actually cause damage to the common area. And then all all the people have to pay for damage that your solar system cost. So sorry, not gonna happen. I'm right back and say, well, are there any options? Yes, there is an option. You gotta get the constitution changed. Ooh, that sounds big, constitution change. Well, you have to pay about a thousand bucks for a lawyer to change the constitution and you have to sign that if anything happens to your solar system and it falls on anybody's head in this complex, you're gonna be up for it. And I go, oh, okay, well, yeah, no, they'll screw it on properly. It won't be a problem. We present that case and the fact that you wanna do it at the next annual general meeting. I go, oh yeah, great, when is that? Well, that's eight months away. Eight months away, oh my God, can we do it any quicker? Well, yes, we can call an extraordinary meeting, but that's gonna cost you extra. And by the time the constitution was changed and we knocked on the door 15 times, guess what, the AGM already came and we're excited waiting for it. We're gonna have our solo soon. And guess what? Somebody forgot to put it on the agenda. Huh, huh, what, what? We, we've gone through all of this, we've just paid the money for the constitution change and you've not put it on the agenda? It somehow fell into the crack. Tough luck. And then we got some little bit of feedback from the strata committee. So in our case, we got a unit that is on top and below we got more units. And the people below say, hang on, we don't have a roof. So we want 50% of your roof. So we're crunching the numbers and we're going, oh my God, you know, that means our system is so much smaller. Can we still do it? And we kind of argue and go, well, it's better have some solar than no solar and definitely have a battery. So we're going, yeah, okay, okay, we give you half our roof. All they decided was, yes, they accepted the constitution and they accepted that we would get solar, but there wasn't really still a final yes vote. So we asked for an extraordinary meeting. I'm writing letters, putting under letter boxes and roller doors. I'm going up there, I'm smooching. Now, in our complex, the bottom unit people 
and the top unit people have been in a permanent war for the last five years before we arrive. And while we're putting up with these kind of little hurdles here and hurdles there and people don't like each other and oh my God, we see our bills still keep on going up, record increases. So after three and a half years, finally it came to the big day, your solar battery has been approved. I found the original email, that's the math. Today, it's 1,000 270 days that I sent the original email asking for solar and battery. That's how long it took. But then again, I always look at the glass half full because now <laughs> that we had to wait three years, there's the federal battery rebate and we got our battery based on that rebate and maybe I would have had to pay quite a bit more. So maybe there was a reason that it took so long. We couldn't wait to get our solar and battery installed, watch our bills go down, make videos about it, etc. But the first thing was obviously also to get the right installer. So now we wanted to find out what is the best solution. So we got Matt from Inspire Energy to explain to us what we really need. So Matt, how long have you been going? We've been in solar and batteries since 2008. So this means Matt has done the solar coaster. He survived when rebates changed. He survived when the product has failed. You thought solar was an easy ride, didn't you? <laughs> oh, I did. Enjoy the roller coaster. <laughs> We're going to finish this in one day, this install. Is it likely? We are, yep. yep. So we've got our own in-house teams that do the installation. So all the planning and all the, um, the pre-site inspections are already done. So we're here today just to get the install sorted out. Now, as you remember, we were only allowed half our roof space. Matt says, look, really go for the ICO panel because they are the most efficient. But then I wanted to find out more about that panel. So I invited Thomas Bywater from ICO to actually give me all the good lay down of why this is a good panel. Now, if you have a business and you're like us in a strata setup, you might say, oh, it doesn't matter what panel I have. It doesn't matter what inverter I have and all that. But I've just had a chat to Thomas and there's actually even a fine religion nearly why this panel <laughs> makes more sense in a strata setup. So when you're dealing with a strata or a body corporate, mm. it's many people, body corporate, right? So you're actually having to convince other people about the merits of what you're doing. And I think being able to say to them, look, we've chosen the most environmentally sensitive panel We've chosen the panel that looks the best. Is some comfort for the other unit holders that might be in the building. You haven't made the building ugly. Correct. When we've got that shared space, we might have, for example, a common space that needs to be allocated some area of the roof. You may have to share the roof with other tenants. Then your space might be quite small that you're able to access and make use of for your system. So having the most power per square meter, that power density, is really a big help. And that's what ICO gives you with these 475s, is that power density, the ability to make good use of a small space. But now to the key brain of the operation, the inverter and the battery. And Matt said, I trust SunGrow. He goes, I've had four and a half thousand units in the last few years and they work perfectly. And we go, oh, well, if he thinks so. Then we remembered, we talked to quite a lot of installers. And when we used to ask them, which one do you like to commission the best? SunGrow was always number one or two. The reason why we only use SunGrow is because that backup is there. And it's all to do with backup and it's all to do with customer service and reliability of the system. The one thing we really wanted to have from it was backup, because if our computer goes bzzp and our editing suite goes bop, so we wanted something in case there's a blackout out here in Western Sydney that actually keeps us in the go. And for that reason, we decided to get SunGrow. And we got Graham, the key engineer from SunGrow, to explain to us what's going on. Now, the reason why we've picked the 15 kilowatt hybrid yes. is because we got three phase and we wanted the full backup. Having a backup is really important because it gives you that security on our system. If the grid fails, 10 millisecond changeover, you won't even notice it. Five kilowatts per phase on backup. So you can just keep working as normal. And we decided to go for 20 kilowatt hours of battery. Yeah. But how many can we actually add to the hybrid inverter theoretically? No theoretically about it. <laughs> In fact, you can add another four batteries so you can have eight modules on the stack which is 40 kilowatt hours if you want you can add another three stacks so you can have up to 160 kilowatt hours of storage on the one inverter now our 13.3 kilowatt system and 160 kilowatt yeah. hours of battery i think there is a bit it's of a not misalignment. going to charge that much you need either more pv or the customer could sign up to a vpp mm. and use the vpp and what they do is when the spot price is low 
they'll charge the batteries from the grid and when the spot price goes high, they discharge back into the grid and the customer can make some money. So when we did the calculation, we worked out that in our place where we use electricity at the same time the solar generates, it was perfect and our ROI was sitting at about four years. So every year after the four years, we're likely to make seven, eight thousand dollars out of our battery. So if the thing lasts 10, 12 years, there was literally eighty thousand dollars waiting for us to save going forward. What we learned from this, if you're in a strata complex and you want solar, you potentially might have to change the bylaws and you're going to have to pay for that lawyer-wise and it'll say that you're going to take responsibility of that solar system should there be issues happening because often it sits in a common area, number one. Number two, don't expect fast turnaround on strata people. It's like send an email, cricket, 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 cricket. you got to be on the ball, get a personal relationship going with that bloke, buy him a cup of coffee and then get some faster answers out of it because strata people do not respond very very quickly. And then you got to really do the smooching with the people surrounding you because they're all going to have a vote and you're going to have to have a minimum 50% on your side. And you, if you are kind of like a cranky danky person and you chewed everybody off in your strata complex, this is the opportunity for them to pay back on you and you're going to be stuffed. So be nice to the people in your block. Do sweep up. Don't make rubbish. Don't make noise because otherwise you're going to not have solar and a battery or an EV charger. Now that we found out that the battery is really potentially a little bit small for what we want, is that SunGrow is stackable. So we cut on the phone and said to Matt, mate, we need two more units. We want to go up to 30 kilowatt hours and it is technically possible. Unfortunate thing is with the new unit, we have to pay full price because we got the rebate. You're only allowed to dip once. So the learning is bigger is better. Buy the big one right now. So you don't have to add later on and pay full price like what we might have to do. So hopefully if you have your own business and you've been thinking about solar and batteries and it's all in the too hard basket, look at what we went through and maybe learn something from that journey and then one day you can be in the same situation we are because now I can hug our little battery and solar because we finally got it. So if you're in a strata block and had similar experiences, please put it in the comments below. I really want to feel we weren't the worst. There's actually more than what that out there. So please, Write in the comments below, please subscribe, go to our channel, go to our website. Till next time, ring the bell, subscribe, enjoy. What a lovely day for solar and battery here. My sun got batteries filling up through the inverter, all wonderful. Guess what? The whole suburb where we're around here is going into blackout. Over a thousand businesses around lunchtime, all the takeaway shops are closed, and we're seeing people out there on the street just hanging around, playing on their phones, nothing to do. But guess what? We didn't even know. This little baby turned over at a millisecond. So really, a solar battery is a bloody good insurance policy. And in our case, we're paying this baby back within three to four years. And we get at least 10 years life out of the battery. It's a no brainer when it comes to the ROI on this thing. So why wouldn't you consider it? I'm so happy with my little SunGo battery. Please support the channel by liking the video, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell and check out all our other videos. Want more energy answered? Visit yourenergyanswers.com for quality energy products, tools and calculators, and find your quality local installers. You're still here? I'll see you next time. Bye.